Howdy everybody. Uh, first actual prop video on the Southern Shop Props channel. But I've been working on a prop for a movie I'm making called Necro Meatball, which stars a necrotic evil meatball puppet. And so I'm going to show y'all a little trick on how to use liquid latex and flour to make a rubber paste and how I applied that to this meatball puppet. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so you can see I've already covered the meatball um, with some of this uh, latex paste and a cut up latex head that I got from the Halloween store. Uh, his shell is just made of upholstery foam that was cut into two hemispheres and glued together with contact cement. And his teeth are just a set of um, werewolf teeth from the Halloween store. Gloves are not mandatory. Most of the time when I work with this stuff, I don't use gloves. Um, for the sake of filming a video, it's a lot easier and cleaner. Uh, some people might have a latex allergy. So for you, I would say it's pretty important that you wear gloves. And if you're not sure if you have a latex allergy, I would go ahead and wear them anyway. Uh, so I learned this trick from Ellie Rosander from the Ellie Max channel. Um, you just need flour and liquid latex and you just combine them in a bowl to form a paste. Uh, I usually use a ceramic bowl because I'll show you a clip of it later. Uh, the latex is really easy to pull out of there. This consistency is a little too thick and you'll see I make a better consistency later when I mix up the second batch, but for right now that's a pretty good approximation of uh, how thick you're looking for. You just go ahead and smear it all on everywhere you want coverage. It'll stick to itself, so all the dried patches there, you don't have to worry about it peeling off. Here I'm using cake flour. Um, I don't believe that that really matters. I would say do not use self-rising flour because there's something in the self-rising flour, the baking soda or whatever's in there makes the latex set almost immediately, so it's not usable. Here you can see I mixed up a better consistency. This is a lot better for the purposes I'm trying to work with. It'll smooth a lot better. Uh, it'll dry a lot quicker too. So just covered the meatball. Not much to it. Just kind of smear it on. It's a little messy. Uh, it gets on the table. You can put down on paper towels or drop cloth or something if you want, but when this stuff dries, it just peels right off. So I didn't even worry about it. A hair dryer helps uh, speed up the process. Don't notice, not a fan. But when it dries a little bit, it's still a little tacky and a little weird feeling, a little squidgy. But if you have lumps that are sticking out, you can just poke them down in this stage after it's a little dry. The, uh, the hair dryer helps you get there pretty quickly. And you can see I just went over the whole meatball, tapped down any little peaks that were poking out, things that I didn't like that were protruding too much and just kind of made it a little more uniform. Like I said, when it dries, you can just just grab it and rub it and it'll peel right off of whatever surface, you know, as long as it's smooth. And in a ceramic bowl, when it dries, you can just peel it all right out. I would not recommend washing this in the sink with all of that in it, just because rubber down your sink is probably not the best thing for your sewage system or septic tank or even your pipes. To paint it, I mixed up uh, a good bit of latex, just some basic acrylic paint, and a little bit of water from the sink. Close it up tight and shake it. I'm glad here I had the foresight to get some paper towels because you'll see you don't if you don't use a container that seals properly, you'll uh you'll make a mess. What'd I tell you? That was not staged. I was just very fortunate to remember to grab a paper towel just in time. So Put on the first coat of paint, 
it, you don't have to worry about it not being completely dry yet uh, before you put the paint coat on because it's all latex based so it'll all dry eventually. It goes on a lot lighter than it dries, a lot like house paint, which is also latex based, so I guess that makes sense. Gave him one good coat, and you can see there's a lot of the base layer still poking out from underneath. So that can be solved by just doing another coat of paint. I did two coats of red and two coats of brown on top total, and that gave me some pretty good coverage overall. And once you let it really dry, it just comes out so easy. And those last little bits that are left in the in the bowl, you can just rub them out over the trash with your hands and just wash it off. And this was the final product after two coats of brown. And after he dried a little bit, I gave him a light dusting with an acrylic varnish. Uh, that way, when I go to dry brush on some highlight details later, and maybe even a black wash, he won't his paint won't rub off and it won't be sticky and it'll help it here better. Uh, I still have to go through, uh, finish up the eye sockets, finish up the mouth, repaint the teeth, but overall uh, that's how I made this meatball puppet abomination. If you guys are interested, let me know and I can make some more update videos about how I finish him or anything else. Hope this was helpful.